Hey Leos, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to you with your weekly readings for love, okay? So we're going to see what spirit has to say about your love life for this week. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, and Holy Angels. What's the message for Leos? What's going on with Leo's love life for this week? What do Leos need to hear and know for this week? For their love lives? Messages for Leos. Messages for Leos for their love lives this week. What's going on with Leos? For their love life for this week. Okay. 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 <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, Leo. <laughs> we have two, two, and two. So you could be seeing the number 222. A lot this uh, week, the number two period could be very significant. It also tells me that you are in the mood of, you're in the mindset of finding your soulmate, of finding a connection with someone. You are thinking about this deep within yourselves. You may not be telling a lot of people but you're keeping something very quiet, <laughs> similar to Gemini's reading, okay? You may have Gemini in your chart. You could be dealing with a Gemini, but I feel like some of you may have Gemini in your chart, in your birth chart, but you are keeping something very quiet. I feel like maybe you feel like you have, you have a person you have someone in mind here, and I feel like you're getting impatient with waiting for this person. You're getting a bit impatient, okay? You know you want this person in your life, and not just for, you know, a good time. You want this person in your life for long term. This is someone you feel very deeply about, okay? Okay? And these love messages are, are for anyone, but if you have found someone, this is someone you feel really deeply about. I don't care if you just met them. You already feel a soulmate connection with this person. We do have intuition, which is the high priestess. Yeah, you feel a spiritual union with this person. Yeah, y'all see eye to eye or y'all have a deep bond. This person could like finish sentences for you. You probably envision yourself. I see you like closing your eyes and envisioning yourself with this person. You probably daydream about them a lot. The waiting game is in reverse. You are growing impatient. You don't want to wait for something or vice versa. Someone is tired of waiting on you to make a move towards something more long term. Someone is impatient. <laughs> but at the bottom of the deck is destiny. Whoever this person is, you're meant to be together. Behind it, we have harmony. Your destiny is to be in harmony with this person. Behind it is fertility, which is the empress. Some of you are destined to have a child with this person. All of this stuff is coming up in your sphere, in your atmosphere, in your subconscious mind this week. Okay? Some of you are definitely meant to marry this person and be with this person, okay? You feel a deep connection here. This is deep, okay? This is not... I feel like if you're single, because um, I realize everyone hasn't met this person yet, I feel like you will meet this person soon. 
if you haven't. Some of you are waiting to get out of something else to be with this person or to be with the person that you really love. Your feelings are there. You may not always show it, but your feelings are definitely there. Clarify this energy for Leos. Clarify this energy for Leos. Yeah, you see a future with this person. <laughs> Ooh, you really want to hurry up and be with them. Some of, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a water sign. I see like very strongly. Could be a Pisces. Yeah, clarify this energy for Leos for this week. Mm. <laughs> I said Capricorn and the Queen of Pentacles came out. Who is Leo thinking about what's going on with this person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit more about this situation for Leos for this week. Ooh. Some of you don't want to be the, the vulnerable one. You don't want to be vulnerable. <laughs> you want to keep up this front like everything is okay. Like this person doesn't really affect you. Yeah, when you're around this person, you're affected by them. You're moving very slowly toward this person. Yeah. You could be holding back from this person, severely holding back. Some of you, it's um, it's like start and stop. It's not going as quickly or as fast as you would like or something is just not picking up with this person. Yeah, there's a lot of holding back, I feel, on both sides. Somebody needs to open up and tell the other person, like, you mean the world to me. I hear that song uh, by Tony Braxton. <laughs> you mean the world to me. You are my everything. Yeah, you know. Okay. <laughs> if you don't know it, look it up. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Too many are coming out. Mm. I swear the only thing that matters, matters to me. Oh, baby, 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 baby. Okay. Because <laughs> you mean no matter. Okay. All right. Enough. <laughs> This person means the world to you. You could be playing it real cool, real smooth, not saying much. <laughs> but uh, someone is getting tired of you holding back or you're getting tired of holding back from this person. So I'm just reiterating that because this energy is very clear here. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Someone... Is very someone on your mind and in your energy is very abundant, kind of like the Empress. When I get the Queen of Pentacles, it's similar to the Empress. The Queen of Pentacles, this is uh, definitely an earth sign or someone with heavy earth in their chart. Um, this is someone who's grounded, who's stable. This could be someone who already has children. They could work in nursing, um, the nursing field. They, they could work in the medical field is what I want to say. They could work taking care of other people. Um, they could like have a daycare or work with something with children. They could be a teacher, something with children, but this is someone who, is very grounded, very stable. They probably have their own business or their own home. You are having some powerful thoughts about this person with the tower, okay? You are realizing what this person means to you. With the Wheel of Fortune here, you want things to move forward. <clears throat> you definitely see this person as a long-term partner. When you get the queen of pentacles, that's a long-term partner. 
or situation. Some of you are already with this person and you see things moving forward. You may be with this person, but y'all haven't married each other yet. Okay. So it's just been a long-term relationship. I would say two years or longer. The Knight of Swords is in reverse. In the upright, the Knight of Swords is fast-moving energy. In reverse, the Knight of Swords slows down. He takes his time. He's moving slow. So someone in this equation is moving slow toward commitment. Why are you holding back, Leo? Four of Pentacles. What is the holdup? There's something wrong with the communication. The communication is off. With someone, someone is holding back. Nine of Wands, someone is being very guarded with themselves. When it comes to Four of Wands, this relationship, okay? So this tells me someone needs to be more forthcoming. If you want this to get off the ground, someone is tired of waiting. Someone wants this relationship to go to the next level. <clears throat> someone wants a home with you. You could want a home with this person, but Leos, if you block out love, it's not going to happen, okay? This is your destiny with this person, okay? Something very stable is here with this person, but if you keep blocking it out, I feel like this person is going to move on with their lives. Somebody needs to say what they what they need to say so this can go excuse me to the next level so give me some advice here for leos what's the advice here for leos with the romance angels give me some advice here for leos for this week for this week the advice for leos three cards for the advice for leos for this week Yeah. It says free yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I see the four of pentacles, that means someone hold, is holding back. You need to free yourself from holding back. Get out of your head. Like I said at the beginning of the reading, some of you need to get out of one situation. Free yourself from, you know, an old flame or somebody you've been trying to separate from for a while. Some of you need to get out of that before you move on to this new person. And then some of you just need to set yourselves free from being in your head too much. Free yourself, okay? Your finances and career may play an important role this week. Maybe you're all about work. Maybe you're all about focusing on, you know, job security and financial security, financial success, financial freedom, and you're not putting your all into the, <clears throat> the growth and the nurturing of this connection. Some of you are just focused on your finances and career um, a little too much, and there needs to be balance. Romantic feelings. Yes, you have deep romantic feelings for this person and the situation. Okay. The, it's here, but I feel like they're very hidden and they're not talked about enough. You need to vo verbalize, vocalize how you feel. Use your words with this person. They're not a mind reader. Some of you need to tell this person exactly how you feel this week. Okay. Alrighty, Leo. So that's your energy for this week. I hope it resonated. If it did not, maybe next time. Okay. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you, Leos, and have a great week. Bye.